Do you ever get a stuffy nose and think just how much you take breathing for granted? That's exactly like in app tutorials. Okay, well, maybe not that dramatic, but hey, if I ever download some new app and I'm given no directions whatsoever, it does feel remotely similar to how I took breathing for granted. So in hopes that we will never be let alone in uncharted territory, let's talk about in-app tutorials. First up, what is an in-app tutorial? By definition, an in-app tutorial is an onboarding UX pattern designed to assist new users in quickly reaching value or help your current users continuously see your product's value. In simpler terms, it's the tour guide inside the apps you download. It directs first-time users to the key features to make sure they stick around. And in all the apps we all use every day, there's some sort of in-app tutorial. Otherwise, we wouldn't stick around. Now that is essentially why an in-app tutorial matters. It is key to retention, but let's take a look at all the reasons why you need an in-app tutorial. One, boosting customer acquisition. Now, we all prefer to give the free trial a try first, and if I can try a product without signing up, that's even better. Take Bubble, for instance. They offer a demo environment right on their website, and it allows potential customers to experience key features without even signing up. Here's an interesting stat also. 63% of customers consider the quality of onboarding before subscribing or purchasing. So with good in-app tutorials and little to no friction, Bubble boosts acquisition. Two, enhancing customer retention. A good in-app tutorial is not just for newbies, but also for existing users. And as I just mentioned, a good in-app tutorial is essential to retention. Let me back it up with data though. One, poor onboarding is a top reason for customer churn, and two, 86% of customers say they prefer businesses that provide educational onboarding content post-sale. Think new features, you still gotta onboard all users to that. A great example here is Indicata. They tackled onboarding challenges across 13 markets with digital in-app tutorials, resulting in a remarkable 47% increase in future adoption. Three, cutting down costs and effort. Now, I'm not even kidding, a well-crafted in-app tutorial can save you a fortune in user education and support costs. Grow HR, for example, now offers 24-7 help through resource centers, and then there's QPath, who reduced their support tickets by a whopping 72%, significantly lowering their support costs and effort. Oh, and these products all achieve these numbers using user guiding, so you might want to check out the free trial in the description. So then, if it's so useful, let's waste no time and jump into best practices for in-app tutorials. One, keep it short and sweet. When you're dealing with a complex product, you might be tempted to create a mega 10-step onboarding tutorial. But hey, less is often more. You might want to try bite-sized guides uh, tailored to different parts of your app. So just remember two golden rules. Stick to three to six steps per guide and always always use a progress bar. Two, personalization is key. We all love feeling special, right? So why not bring that into your in-app tutorials? Simple stuff like using your customer's name, segmenting right from the sign up, or tailoring the journey for different user groups can make a world of difference. Take the yoga app, for example. Their sign up flow chef's kiss in terms of personalization. And trust me, getting into user segmentation can really level up your game. Three, hands-on learning. Traditional onboarding is like being lectured at sometimes, but what users really need is to dive in and learn by doing. So ditch the long feature list and instead show your users your real value of what your app can do. Spice it up with some interactive walkthroughs, maybe add a checklist or two. Gamification is your friend here. Just look at how we do it at user guiding. Four, make it fun. As a personal request, but also as a good practice, infuse some fun into your tutorials. This isn't just about information, it's about creating a memorable experience. Gamify the process, stay true to your brand's voice, and maybe throw in a few amusing gifts in your in-app messages as well. Look at Ghostwriter.io, they've got the fun factor down all right. Five, track performance like a hawk. Your in-app tutorial isn't just a set it and forget it kind of deal. It's a living, breathing part of your app. And just like any good reality show, you need to keep an eye on the drama. Is there a step where users are dropping off? Are they getting stuck? Tracking your tutorial's performance with the right metrics is the way to go. You'll know exactly where the pain points are and more importantly, how to fix them. 
Six, feedback is your best friend. Now, let's talk about feedback. It's the secret to any successful Linux tutorial. You might think everything's all right, but there's always room for improvement. And who better to tell you than your users themselves? So definitely regularly nudge them for feedback. NPS surveys, quick forms, you name it. Not only does it show that you care, but you also get golden insights straight from the people whose opinions matter the most. Phrase, for example, has the feedback game down to a science. Seven, developers take a break. Here's the hot take, not everything needs your developer's magic touch, especially not in-app tutorials. Unless you're a tiny startup or a huge enterprise, coding and maintaining tutorials in-house might be a bit of an overkill. Plus, your devs have got bigger fish to fry, right? The good news is, there are tools out there designed to take this load off of your shoulders, like user guiding. Check out the free trial in the description. So wrapping up, in-app tutorials can be the difference between churn or no churn, as long as you know how to do it right. And I bet you do by now after all these best practices we've been through. This was Sarah from User Guiding and see you next time.